Dave Campbell's Texas Football has been a longtime partner with the Andrews Institute at Children's Health here in the DFW Metroplex. And we are pleased to be joined now by Gabby Ricky. She is a performance dietitian there at the uh, Children's Health Andrews Institute. Uh, Ms. Ricky, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about how you came to be involved with the Andrews Institute? Yeah, of course. So uh, I've been a dietitian for seven, going on eight years now. Um, but I, I saw an opportunity for um, a performance dietitian with Exos at the Andrews Institute. And so um, that quickly turned in from part-time to full-time mm -hmm. gig, um, just because there's a lot of, you know, a lot of um, communities we're involved in mm -hmm. right at the Andrews Institute. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of how that turned into. You mentioned, you know, there are so many communities you're involved with, and mm -hmm. I know that you're a big part, big part of what you do is just community education. Can you tell us a little yes. bit more about what you do in that regard? Yeah, definitely. So, um, speaking to different teams within mm -hmm. high schools, especially, um, so like volleyball teams, football teams, coaches and trainers, mm -hmm. um, speaking to them about the foundations of fueling for sports performance um, and just helping them kind of understand, you know, that nutrition is a skill, mm -hmm. right, as an athlete. Uh, we were talking before we came on that it's uh, it's brutally hot outside yes. and and I know that we hear all the time hydrate 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 but like you can only say that so many times mm -hmm. and it just becomes kind of white noise can yeah. you give us maybe like some you know like a like a I don't want to say a schedule but like a strategy as far as making sure that you're that they'll or can keep uh, athletes hydrated yeah yeah so I always say like number one start early mm -hmm. early in the day right and also get into the mindset that you're hydrating today for tomorrow, right? So think ahead. Because as soon as you start to feel dry mouth, you get thirsty. Those sensations are already indications that you're dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So start early, don't wait till you feel thirsty. Um, carry a water bottle around with you, right? And then carry um, travel, like those go packs of electrolytes, mm -hmm. um, whether it's like a Gatorade endurance one, or if you're a heavy sweater, maybe liquid IV mm -hmm. or Pedialyte Sport, those are good options. Um, and then when you're training, um, every 15 minutes, four to eight ounces of fluid. It's easy, easy as that. Mm -hmm. um, and another kind of tip is every, every gulp you take, right? Because you don't just count your ounces. Yeah. Not everybody does. Um, is a gulp is about two ounces of fluid. So just take two to three gulps, you know, two to four gulps every 15 minutes during training. That's really interesting what you said about how like you're hydrating today for tomorrow. That yeah. that puts in the right yes. mind frame for me. 100%. Yeah. Um, okay. So then you're you're a dietitian. Uh, we're talking about athletes who are trying to like improve their their diet and get themselves into a into a healthy diet and a lifestyle. Um, but that can be hard uh, yeah. as somebody who struggles with that myself. Mm -hmm. What kind of are there any sort of like easy to implement type things that you could say for athletes to to include uh, to to implement that'll make it you know so they can improve their diet. Yeah, so kind of like go to mm -hmm. what's like the lowest hanging fruit, basically, yeah. Yeah. right? Um, so number one is never skip meals, right? If you mm -hmm. can get into the habit of not skipping meals. Um, so eating three times a day <laughs> is really important. And um, just to establish a regular eating pattern, because energy availability, right? Having enough calories and enough nutrition, that's such a big um, issue. That's probably the number one issue in high school and youth athletes is they just don't eat enough, right? They're in a, a stage of life where they're growing and developing and then they also play a sport or maybe two sports or three sports. And so to eat enough to keep up with the demands of all of that, it's, it's very important. So establish a regular eating pattern, three meals a day. And then if you're in preseason training, if you're in season, adding those strategic snacks. So pre-workout snack, post-workout recovery snack, right? So again, start with the basics, three meals a day, and then those time snacks. That's interesting because I know, like, as a former 17-year-old boy, mm -hmm. I just remember, like, oh, maybe I'd skip breakfast, but then, like, lunch, I'd just have a huge so lunch. Crazy. And then you yeah. wouldn't eat anything until dinner, and you'd yeah. have a huge dinner, and I, that's just that's just not the way to go. Um, okay, so I also know there's a lot of coaches out there who are going to go to their, go to their players and say, hey, come on, eat healthy, stuff yeah. like that. How would you recommend they talk to their players? So uh, the biggest thing is, uh, I mean, with anyone, we have, you know, things that motivate us to, mm -hmm. to do change, to change behavior, right? And so with nutrition, if you don't know the why, if you don't know, like, why is it important I eat breakfast? Why mm -hmm. is it important that I hydrate? These kids won't care naturally, right? Because we are motivating, like, we, we need to motivate them. And so figure out what motivates them. And usually it's their love of the sport, right? They really like what they do. They want to play for a while uh, or they don't have any plans to stop. So 
getting them to understand, um, you know, why is it important to hydrate? Oh, because, you know, my ability to track a ball, mm -hmm. track a moving object declines a lot if I'm dehydrated. Mm -hmm. My ability to kick, you know, and have a lot of power output in my leg, mm -hmm. it, that declines if you're dehydrated. So just putting the pieces together so they understand for their sport, you know, why it matters. Uh, great advice yeah. uh, there. How can people, you know, this great advice, how can people reach you? How can people get in touch with you? The easiest way is, I mean, we have an Instagram page that is pretty active. Mm -hmm. uh, the Exos, it's Exos underscore Children's Health. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I mean, from there, there's all modes of contact that way. That's probably the most user-friendly one. Yeah. Gabby Rickey of the Anderson Institute of Children's Health. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Yeah.